Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make custom commands. Now, this will be using a behavior pack, but I've already made this behavior pack and I've put a link for it down in the description below. Now, I'll be showing you how to edit this to your liking, customize it, and add in pretty much any commands you want. Now, this isn't something that's like you rename a piece of paper to slash spawn and it'll teleport you to spawn or anything like that. No, this is kind of <laughs> with the times. It's not outdated. Uh, it's basically custom slash commands or chat commands. That's essentially what it is. Now, quickly before I show you them or show you how they work, um, I want to say uh, if I go into the settings quickly and scroll down, as you can see, I have enabled game test framework. You will need to do this for your game, but this will work on, let's say, world or realm. Um, there may be some bugginess on a realm, but as time goes on, that should get sorted out and fixed and everything should work smoothly. But this allows um, kind of some scripts to run and don't worry, you don't need knowledge of scripts or anything. I've already done that for you. Uh, again, this will be using the pack in the description below. But um, yeah, essentially what I can do is in chat, I can't type slash spawn, okay? But what I can do is type dot spawn and it'll teleport me to spawn as you can see. Now we can't use slash sadly, but we can use any other thing as a prefix we want. So I'll show you how to change that as well. I made it super easy in the script, but we have a few other commands. Now let's say I don't know a command and I type dot something, okay? It'll say the command is not found, type dot help. And then if I go and type dot help, I made a quick list of all the commands that I added. So I have dot spawn, dot test, and dot help. I added a quick description, just teleports the player to spawn, as you saw just a moment ago. Uh, this is a random command look, okay? I wanted it to look like there were more than just two commands, but you can add as many as you would like and let them do whatever you would like. And then dot help, we just ran that. But yeah, so you just type your prefix, your command, and then send it in chat, and boom, it works. And uh, if I leave the game quickly and show you, this is using a behavior pack. And I know the file size is huge on it, zero megabytes, but <laughs> this is the one in the description below and I'll show you how to edit that now. So if I go into my um, com.mojang folder and then I have it stored in the development behavior packs. Uh, and then if I go here, custom commands, we wanna go into the scripts folder and then there's a index.js. If I open that, then um, don't worry about the colors. If you open it with notepad or something, it'll be black and white, but it'll still work the same. Um, wherever I have the green, in case you don't have any prior knowledge, this is just a comment, so this won't run at all. These can be deleted if they want, but this is so you can better understand it. Now, this is where I have my command prefix, and if I want to change it, let's say to two exclamation marks. You can have this whatever you want. But we'll have it as this for now. And when I go back into Minecraft later, I'll show you it working. Now, um, I'll get to this main section in a second. But down here, uh, this is kind of just handling whenever someone types a message in chat. It checks if it's a custom command. If it is, it runs this function. If not, it ignores it. You don't have to worry about this down here. They should stay the same. Now, up here, what we're doing is checking kind of, okay, is the command spawn? If so... As you can see, it's an if statement, then whatever is inside this brace and this brace will get run. And what we're doing is doing commands.run, and this allows us to run a command in game. And the command I'm running is execute, and then I put uh, parentheses here. I'll explain why in a second. But we have the person who sent the message, which in my case was me. And I put parentheses around this because I have spaces in my gamer tag. So let's say someone has spaces, you need these, because this is as if you're normally typing it in Minecraft chat, which uh, let me show you what I mean by that. Um, so if we head back in game, and let's say I wanted to do, I don't know, TP, and then let me type my gamer tag, Samster10YT. As you see, I have these quotation marks, and I need them because I have spaces in my name. So since we're doing this in game, we also have to do it here. So that's why these are here. But regardless, it's just executing the person who sent it and then teleporting to these coordinates. Now, this is the reason I'm executing them and not just teleporting them. It doesn't necessarily know what dimension the player is in. So if you I know that's kind of confusing, but basically, um, if you try something and it doesn't work, try throwing this in front of it. Like try throwing this in front of your command 
And then that should help in some cases. Let's say teleport, set block, stuff like that. Regardless, let's move on. So the help command, like I uh, showed you a second ago, uh, all we're doing is a tell raw. So we're tell we're doing a tell raw to the person who used the uh, custom command. And then this is our raw text. As you can see, it just says, um, if it's spawn, teleports player to spawn, so on and so forth. And you, you can do backslash n in a tell raw to kind of do a new line. But since we're working in JavaScript, we have to do uh, two backslashes um, and instead just one backslash for like backslash n. I know it can seem kind of confusing if you have no prior knowledge, but if you run into an issue, try that. Okay. And then we have our last command, which is test. And then we just have it saying, this is a useless command. Now, let's say we want to add another command. And down here, uh, before I go on, it just says if you like typed a wrong command, uh, type the help command. And then I'm just saying this is a command prefix up here, which is this. So let me quickly show you how to add a extra command. So I'm just going to make this go down the line and add another if statement. And I'm just going to copy it to make it easier. But uh, I'll copy this and then inside these paste it here. And I don't know. Let's make our command say, let's just make it high, something simple. Okay. And then I'm going to do this, clean up my code a little bit, put that statement there. But, um, and let's say we want this command to just say hello back to us in chat. So we would do commands.run. And this is how you run a command in the Minecraft chat. And then let's just do a tell raw. So we can do tell raw. And then we want to put our two quotations. Um, and then we want to kind of use a variable, which will be the message.sender.name. So we want to put a dollar sign and then two curly braces. And we can put a variable inside that. Uh, I know it may sound confusing, but it's just a routine thing. You should get used to it if you mess with this. But we would do tell raw and then the person who sent the command. In this case, it'll be me. And then we just type a raw text. Uh, raw text and then do this text and then okay this is where we can say what we want to say back in chat let's just say hello because that's all we want it to do we can save this file and then I'm going to rejoin my game now I have mine in my development behavior pack so it makes it so I just have to leave and join back for this um, if you're gonna be messing with this I would suggest you put it there uh, however, if you put in your behavior packs, you might have to change UIDs, stuff like that. If you know about packs, you'll understand that. But we changed our prefix to exclamation mark, exclamation mark, as I showed up here, and our command was hi. So all we do, double exclamation point, and type hi, and then it says hello back in chat. And let's say we type a command that doesn't exist, like ABC. It'll say type uh, help with the uh, prefix already there so people know what to do. And obviously our high command is not going to show up because I manually uh, typed out what was in here. But if you have a command like this, let's just say you could do backslash backslash n, put a color symbol, and then we want it gray. I don't know. That's how I had it. And then I'm just going to copy this uh, instead of retyping it. But this is just this variable up here, the double exclamation point. But in case you change it, so you want to change it in every position, then we would do high. And I like to color mine to make it look fancy. Um, and then all this command does is says hello back in chat. If I save this and then I leave my game. And once I've left, I'm going to just join back again. Uh, the way I have it set up, I can just leave and join. Um, you may have it set up this way or you may have to do a couple extra steps. Um, that I'm not going to be showing in this video, but regardless, if I type my help command again, as you can see, it added it to the list because it is just doing a tell row. Now, I would say you don't necessarily need knowledge of JavaScript for this because um, I showed you everything in space. It is a lot of, or it can be copy and paste, right? If I want to add another if statement, I can basically copy this and just change the parameters to what I would like them to be. But I do recommend you having some um, knowledge of commands and that's just so you know you understand the tell raw or uh, I would hope you want to understand what teleport does um, execute stuff like that right and then any other commands you want to do in here now the good thing is if you have some knowledge of JavaScript 
um, or really any kind of programming language in general. It all kind of transfers over. Uh, you can kind of do a lot of um, math or manipulation, I guess, with what the player typed in chat. And you can do things like, um, I made a fill command that you can use multiple blocks and randomize what it fills. But I'm not going to go into detail with that. But yeah, that's basically uh, all I wanted to show you for today. Again, I will leave this pack in the description below. Um, if you need, everything should have been explained in this video. If something wasn't, please leave a comment down below. And I'll try my best to get back to you. Um, these comments, like I said, they can be deleted if you would like, but I would recommend leaving them there unless you know what you're doing, just so you can kind of look at them for reference. Uh, one thing I would like to add, I guess, uh, for anyone still watching, uh, when I type a command in chat, it doesn't actually get said in chat. Like the response does, but it doesn't say that I typed hi, right? So, uh, what I can do is actually comment this line out and then that'll make it so... Uh, actually, I'll show you what it does by rejoining, but it'll make it so it'll actually show that I typed exclamation mark, exclamation mark, hi to anyone in chat. So I know that sounds a bit confusing, but as soon as I load in, I'll explain that. Okay, so exclamation mark, exclamation mark, hi, it says it back to me and it says I typed in chat. So that's a little extra thing. If you want to, I'll have this line not commented out. Um, I will leave the, uh, this will be the final version of the pack that you'll be receiving, but like I said, you can comment this out if you would like. Um, but yeah, okay, so <laughs> I know this video was a little long. I know I haven't been uploading super often. I apologize for that. Kind of got burnt out of the game and got cut up, caught up in school and a few other things. But regardless, that's it for today's video. Uh, if you like this video or helped you in any way, I would really appreciate it if you like the video. It takes two seconds. It really helps me out. And if you really liked it and want to see more content like this, um, you know, why not subscribe? You know, it helps me, helps you. You can see some more content, learn some new things. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment down below. But I'll stop going on and just talking. I'll let you go and have fun with custom commands. All right. I will see you guys next time. Peace.